I'm Monica and I'm Dandela and we're the Reno girls and if this is your first time visiting our channel we welcome you we're excited to have you and if you are already in our community you're a subscriber of ours welcome back we're glad to see you too and we want to share a topic with you today about how to furnish your Airbnb. So you got started, you, um, now you want to like bling it out, right? Like you, cause you want to get the most bang for your buck. Right. So I guess the first thing you want to think about is, are you going to go with a theme? Like, you know, what's your theme? Um, you can do like romance. Mm -hmm. Um, you can do, um, something that's, surrounded around like professionals you can do something around children um you can do something pet friendly you know so just think about like again we're gonna always go back to your avatar so you know don't forget that everything revolves around your avatar even furnishing your unit so um think about that you always want to put a comfortable bed in there you know um we also recommend either an air mattress or a pullout bed um, I mean, I'm not pull out bed, I pull out couch, mm -hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, you're always wanting to increase your occupancy. It's not necessary because we do have some units that don't have air mattresses or pull out beds. Um, but we know who we're targeting right. with those units, um, that, that don't uh, do any additional occupancy, but two people. Um, but again, increased occupancy. We said that in a previous video, mm -hmm. it, it equals increased dollars, right? <laughs> So, um, all about furnishing your prop property, just make sure that bed is comfortable. You know, that's the main thing. A lot of times people like TVs in the bedrooms. Now we do have some TVs in bedrooms, even in like one bedroom units. Um, sometimes we don't, you know, it all depends on, you know, what we're doing and you know, what our budget is for this unit, whether we're going to put a TV in the bedroom or not. Um, we know a lot of Airbnbs don't put TVs in the bedroom. So a lot of times people aren't expecting that. Um, and then sometimes they're pleasantly surprised that we do have a TV in the bedroom. <laughs> so, you know, all of that is kind of up to you, but you know, make sure that that bed is comfortable, that you have a nice bed, make sure that your kitchen is equipped, mm, you yes. know, um, a lot of things that people always are looking for is like a wine opener. Make sure you have a wine opener, make sure you have a colander, you know, make sure you have like a few baking supplies. You know, you don't have to go overboard in the kitchen because honestly, a lot of people don't cook. Now, some people do, you know, um, come in and cook. It depends on how long they're staying or, you know, what their goals are when they do get there as far as um, are they take ordering out or are they cooking, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So um, make sure that your kitchen is stocked, but you don't have to like go all out and, you know, do that. But we do make sure that we provide wine glasses, um, cups. We do provide like spices because Airbnb will ask you that. Are you providing like cooking oil, um, salt, pepper, you know, et cetera. So, and we provide like foil, you know, just like basic stuff that people need when they come in, if they want to cook um, storage containers. Mm -hmm. um, you know all of that make sure your bathroom is like really nice and oh, comfortable gosh, yes and yes. stocked with and some stopped. with yes. some toilet tissue and stuff Ooh, child because listen you don't want these people to be calling you talking about uh there's no tissue in the bathroom okay yeah. the worst thing oh, God. so make sure that your cleaners are putting extra tissue out you know we we put some under the sink in the kitchen and also in the bathroom, you know, just in case, um, that's like a pet peeve of mine. I want to make sure that all of that is stocked, uh, extra paper towel. Now when COVID was here, we didn't put extra paper towels cause honey, they were still, <laughs> <laughs> they was taking your paper towels, child. But now we, you know, we back to normal. So we put an extra paper towel under the sink and you know, some extra tissue, um, to make sure that your guests are comfortable and that they're not running out. We also recommend getting some makeup um, towels mm -hmm. um, because if you don't, people will just, they will take your white towels or your gray towels and, and wipe off all that makeup and then your towels are kind of ruined, you know. So we do provide the black makeup towels. Um, sometimes we provide the little Neutrogena um, makeup no, removers. Makeup remover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but make sure you get those makeup towels though because invaluable like yes. 
I would not go do anything without those. Because you want to have the white, crisp, um, you know, towels. But then when things like that happen, you're like, ooh, you know. (laughs) And we do like white or gray. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done different colors before. But um, I find that it's easier to do like white and gray um, because when you start kind of doing like other different colors and then like if the towels mess up, it's hard to replace, you know, to go back and find those colors and et cetera. So I've really transitioned to like white and gray. Um, I still have some towels because they're they're just in rotation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, white and gray just works the best because... It's like it's interchangeable and you can just use them all together and, you know, et cetera. And also for sheets, we do white and gray um, because, again, it's easier, interchangeable. And we also move to uh, from comforters to duvets Mm -hmm. a lot easier to deal with. um, And they look so pretty to me. Like, I I, I feel like the duvet is like looks really fancy. Yeah. (laughs) And it's easier because you can just take the duvet off and Mm -hmm. wash that real quick and then, you know, stick it back on the bed. So much easier. The cleaners like it better. Um, And we do, uh, the last unit that we did was themed. Mm -hmm. Um, But you know what? I couldn't think of a name or the theme. It was just pretty to me. It was it was gorgeous. I blinged that unit oh, out. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I, that whatever feedback that I received from people was they like um, how you did the um, um, the drapes, the curtains. Yeah, the yeah. curtains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the curtains. They like that because we did a video. Oh, check, you should check out that video. We did a video of kind of of like. Um, of of us like what do you call that where it's like fast motion slow motion type of thing (laughs) where where it was taking you to like uh, um dondella walking into the unit and then you know at the end when it was beautiful all set up can we link that below yeah yeah we'll link that below so y'all can see that's the last unit that we did like i really um i really bling that unit out it's so pretty Yeah, yeah it is yeah so, if, guys, if you like this content, then, um, you know, subscribe to our channel, share it with a friend. We also have some goodies that we want to link down below. The video that Dundella was talking about, we'll link that. I think it's one on one of our social media pages, but we'll put, like, a hyperlink on there. Mm-hmm. And then, also, if you're, like, looking to get started in this game, we want to put our host link down for you yes. to get started, right? I mean, because, you know, that can, can get you <clears> going. <throat> we want to... We want to give you direct asset access and provide resources for you to get started in whatever endeavor that that we're involved with that you're interested in also. Right. And follow us on Instagram. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely follow us on Instagram. Um, and, and again, share our page, uh, connect with us because we're all about entrepreneurship. So you will come to our channel and we'll be talking about short-term rentals, or um, business, starting your business, business fundamentals, like u- utilizing business credit to accelerate your business. Um, what else? We'll talk Turo. about Turo. That's yeah. a good one. We get a lot of questions about Turo, so we have vid- more videos to come about that. And uh, real estate, um, just anything that advance you in your journey that, um, that are businesses that we have done and been successful at or currently doing as well because isn't it nice sometimes to have like a a pseudo partner where like they're in the game with you right like you can like watch their videos or you can connect with them or get on a call with them and then right. like you're, you're you're going through the you're going down the same road i mean that's kind of nice so those are some of the things that we like to share with you all right guys So like and subscribe to our channel. Yes, and we'll see you next time.